Hi everyone, you are welcome to Maths Explorer. How to solve this wonderful exponential equation that is at raise to power x is equal to 48. So here we will try to find the value of x. And here first of all we will write solution. And after the solution we will rewrite the problem here. The problem is at raise to power x is equal to 48. Now what we will do here? Here first we will factorize this 48 to the product of 8 times 6. So we can write this equation further as at raise to power x is equal to we can write this as 8 times 6 which is 48. Now we will divide both sides by 8. So here this 8 and this 8 will be cancelled and here the power of this 8 is 1. So here in the left hand side we will use an exponential math property and we will move this 8 in the denominator to the numerator. So here we will use this one exponential math property. rs to power m divided by rs to power n can also be written as rs to power m minus n. So using this exponential property here in the left hand side of this equation this equation will become this will become at rest to power x minus 1 is equal to here is only 6 is left. Now next here we will take common log on both sides. So let us take common log on both sides log of at rest to power x minus 1 is equal to log of 6. Now here in the left hand side we will use a log property and we will move this power x minus 1 to the front of log. So here in the left hand side we will use this one log result log of m raised to power n can also be written as n times log of m. So using this log result in the left hand side of this equation, this equation will become here we will move this power to the front of log. This equation will become x minus 1 times log of 8 is equal to log of 6. But here we can write 6 as 2 times 3. Now here in the right hand side log of 2 times 3 here we will use another log result log of a times b which can be written as so here we will use this one log result log of a times b which can also be written as log of a plus log of b so using this result here in the right hand side here this is a and this is b so this equation will become x minus 1 times log of 8 is equal to this will become log of 2 plus log of 3. Now what we will do here next. Next we will divide both sides by log of this number log of 8. So let us divide both sides by log of 8. And here in the left hand side, this log of 8 and this log of 8 will be cancelled. So only x minus 1 will be left here. Is equal to. And in the right hand side, we will change this 8 to its exponential form. 2 is 2 power 3 form. So this equation will become log of 2 plus log of 3 divided by 
log of eight can be written as two raised to power three. Now here in the denominator we will use the above result, this one result, and we will move this three to the front of log. So this will become three times log of two in the denominator. So further this equation will become x minus one is equal to this will become log of two plus log of three divided by this will become three times log of two. Now next here we will move this negative one to the right hand side so it will become positive one. So this will become x is equal to plus one plus here we will write this number in the denominator of log of two and log of three. So log of two divided by three times log of two plus log of three divided by three times log of two. Now here we will cancel this log of two and this log of two. So only one over three will be left here. So this will become x is equal to one plus here one by three is left, which we can write in decimals as zero point three 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 four up to four decimal places because this is a non-terminating decimal number plus. And here we will substitute the values of log of three and log of two. So this will become the value of log of three is zero point four seven seven one, and the value of log of two is zero point three zero one. Now further, this right hand side will become is equal to adding these two numbers, we will get one point three. Three, three, four plus. We will multiply these two numbers in the denominator. So this will become numerator will be the same. Zero point four seven seven one divided by multiplying these two numbers three times one is three. Three times zero is zero. Three times three is nine point. Three times zero is zero. So we will do the further step here. Now our last equation is x is equal to one point three 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 four plus zero point four seven seven one divided by zero point nine zero three. Now here we will divide these two numbers. So by dividing these two numbers, here we will get one point three 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 four plus. And by dividing these two numbers, we will get zero point five two eight three. So we will add these two numbers. So we will get the final value of x. So let, let us add these two numbers. Three plus four is seven. Eight plus three is eleven. One. One will be carried to the next number. Two plus one is three. Three plus three is Six, five plus three is eight point zero plus one is one. So finally, x is equal to one point eight six one seven is our answer and value of x up to four decimal places. Now here we will try to verify that this one value of x is exact, correct or not. So we will verify it here. To verify it, we will rewrite the problem here. That is, at rest to power x is equal to 48. Now here we will substitute the value of x. That is, at rest to power the value of x is 1.8617 is equal to right hand side 48. Now if we find out this value using a calculator, so from this value we will get 48.0045 up to 4 decimal places is equal to 48. 
Now this number is a little bit greater than 48 but approximately equal to 48. So here we will replace this number with 48. So 48 is equal to 48. Now since both sides are equal so it means that x is equal to 1.8617 is the exact and correct value of x in this wonderful exponential equation. And last, if you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.